Hello students and family members. We're ready to get started with multiplication. And with any new unit of study, we want to make sure that we understand the vocabulary that comes along with it. So without further delay, let's understand multiplication and the vocabulary that connects us to the unit of multiplying. The first vocabulary word we'll look at is product. The product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So, in our picture example, we have two factors, 3 times 4, the 3 and the 4 are factors, and the 12 is the answer to that multiplication fact, which, in math terms, we call a product. Anytime we want you to multiply two numbers together, we will ask you for the product. An example is this 9 right here when multiplying 3 times 3. A non-example are the actual 3's, because those are not products, those are factors. And we'll talk more about factors and multiples in a different unit. Let's move on to the next vocab word, which is multiply. Multiply means to increase, an increase of numbers or a group a certain amount of times. So we'll be talking a lot about groups and rows throughout this unit, because that's what multiplication is. Here's my picture. We have three groups of four apples in each when we are multiplying four times three. An example would be a number, growth, and making things larger. A non-example would be the opposite of multiplication, which is division, which we'll also talk about in a different unit, which is making things smaller. Next vocab word, number sentences. Quite simply, this is a sentence with numbers, math operations, and an equal sign. So in our picture example, you'll notice I have the number 4, the number 5, the product 20, which is also a number, the math operation of the multiplication symbol, and an equal sign. I have two examples down here that also show back-to-back -back factors being multiplied together by the multiplication symbol sign and an equal sign. That's what a number sentence is. A sentence with just words and punctuation, like we study in grammar, is not a number sentence. A number sentence is strictly numbers, operation signs, and an equal sign. Next vocab word. Fact families. We talk specifically about addition and subtraction fact families that go together, and multiplication and division fact families that go together. These are a collection of related addition and subtraction facts or multiplication and division facts made from the same exact numbers. Here's an example of an addition subtraction fact family in picture form. It's a fact family because the numbers 10, 7, and 3 can all be combined to equal one of the others. 7 plus 3 is 10, 3 plus 7 is 10. You can also subtract starting with 10 minus 3, and you'd still get 7, or you could take 10 minus 7, and you would get 3. They're a family because they relate to one another. Here's another example, but in this example, we're talking about a multiplication fact family. Why are they a family? Because if I put them all in this house, you could eventually get to the same exact answer. You put the 3 and the 4 at the bottom, because when I multiply 3 times 4, I'm going to get 12. Or when I multiply 4 times 3, I'm also going to get 12. However, if I start with the large number 12 and divide by 3, I'm going to get 4. Or if I start with the large number 12 and divide by 4, I'm going to get 3. They're a fact family because they are all related. A non-example is what you see right here. And this is our next vocabulary word. An array. An array is a picture representing a multiplication problem in rows and columns. That word rows is very important. The rows are the groups. How many total groups do you have in 3 times 5? Well, if you chose 3, then you start by creating 3 individual apples that go 5 times across, because in 3 times 5, you are multiplying 3 groups by 5, repeatedly adding 5 plus 5 plus 5 or 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Same with this example. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 5 times 4 represented in an array form. 
A non-example is this right here in the bottom right-hand corner, which we just learned is a fact family. The final vocabulary word that we'll be focused on is specifically related to our word problems. A bar model is a picture using bars, just like the ones you see here in this picture, as well as in this picture, to help us solve a word problem. Using only numbers to solve a problem in a word problem is not a bar model. That's why it's a non-example. This right here is a beautiful example of how you can use a bar model to solve for a variable or an unknown in a word problem. You're given the total piece of 52. You also know this other piece right here is 37. Well, what would you have to do to solve for this question mark? 52 minus 37 should get you that question mark because that will leave you whatever is remaining in this green bar. So those are our vocabulary words. Let me know if you have any questions.